it seems like it's confirmed that OpenAI ripped off over a million hours of YouTube content to use to train their model GPT-4. But that could just be the beginning of a whole Pandora's box of legal issues facing OpenAI and the AI industry at large. So it's becoming more and more difficult for OpenAI to maintain the secrecy around the data that they're using to train their models. This latest furore involves video content, GPT-4, and their video generation tool, Sora. Recently, their CTO, Mira Marati, went incredibly viral when she was giving an interview about where they took their video data to train Sora, their video generation model. In it, she pulled this kind of weird cringe face that was just all. Anyway, since that interview, speculation has been rife that the data was in fact taken from YouTube and that OpenAI's definition of publicly available may not be the same as everybody else's. The fact is that because this technology is so new, nobody really knows what's allowed and what isn't. But it's safe to say that YouTube's owners, Google, will probably not be very happy about their data being used at will by a company in OpenAI, which has such close links to one of their main rivals in Microsoft. But according to the New York Times, that is exactly what has happened, this time with GPT-4. This particular story claims OpenAI developed a tool called Whisper, which can transcribe and scrape data from YouTube. It claims that as early as 2021, OpenAI had already run out of useful public data that they could train their models on. And so they began searching for more contentious sources. And this isn't the first time they've been accused of copyright infringement because the New York Times themselves are currently suing OpenAI for infringement of their own written content. And that's on top of various other lawsuits around the industry, including one between Getty Images and Stability AI, which has been rumbling on for some time now. So don't expect it to be the last. It's likely that cases like this are going to continue, firstly, because often it does seem like there is a legitimate case. Google, for example, claim that their terms of service prohibit unauthorized scraping or downloading of YouTube content. But another reason is that there are a lot of businesses out there that are seriously threatened by the advent of AI. The New York Times is a perfect example of that. Even if the brand survives, it's very likely that many of their writers, sub-editors and editors are gonna be replaced by AI agents in the near future. Most of these copy editing jobs are simply not tasks that you need human beings to perform anymore. It's also becoming increasingly clear that the companies that own big data are going to be the real winners from the AI revolution. Google are likely to react very badly to this story precisely because they understand the power they wield in the vast troves of data that they own across all of their different platforms, YouTube included. So if you want to understand where the real money is going to be made over the next decade and which companies might run into trouble, then you really need to understand where the data is. I'll see you next time.